I know exactly who you was before then. How you know? You, you, uh, you was D'Angelo baby mama. You know what? I'm going to slap yeah. all your <laughs> face off. I'm going to slap all them glasses off. No. <laughs> That's all you know about me? Man, I, I seen the unsung too. I know about uh, the group that you had in the 79. Okay. And yeah. whatnot. Yeah. 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 I saw I that whole, say, yeah. Why you stop at baby mama? Though? What that go with? And man, and I'm, <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 33. No. And when I was looking at the unsung, I was like, whoa. Whoa. First, time first female hip hop group ever. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This your girl Angie Stone. Check it out. This is 50.com. And my sunshine's still here. Okay. Sitting in this chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>Man, what, what are the ladies doing right now, man? Well, Blondie's working with me still, Cheryl. We just did. Uh, sometimes I bring them out as a surprise guest on the shows. Mm -hmm. uh, keep everybody, you know, eating a little something Word. when I'm eating. And, and people be knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they, oh, yeah. They remember the do, time. When we do Funk You Up, mm -hmm. which is keep your head ringing. When we do that, how can you not know? Uh, Bruno Mars just did Uptown Funk, stole that. Right, no. right, right. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. No, go ahead. You have your little Richard moment right now. There you go. Everybody stole from me. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Come on. Well, you know, accent. Funky Right On Up was uh, something we did. Like I said, that was our first record. Mm -hmm. I was 17. 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Record deal. And uh, y'all out on the road. Um, With Sugar Gang, that. Grandmaster Flash. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the lady, just she saw y'all because you came backstage. Y'all snuck in, right? Right. Sylvie Robinson. Yes. Has she been running business for a she, is she, she just died. Get out of here. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. Wow. And her oldest son just died. Uh, Joy, her baby son died a year before that. They had to get right with people. There's one left. Wow. They give us our money. Wow. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> no, you meant that shit. <laughs> I ain't seen that see. It was. <laughs> All right, so you, you went to a couple of different other um, record deals after that and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Did a couple of more records and stuff. I went to uh, 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 Clive Davis, Arista. Right, right. I uh, did Black Diamond, Mahogany Soul, and uh, I got signed actually through the UK. Mm -hmm. Came on back uh, before then, did Vertical Hole. Uh, seems much too busy. I don't know whether you remember that, but. That was my first major deal with a and Records, and uh, right after that, I worked a lot with D'Angelo, did the first two albums with him, uh, Brown Sugar and Voodoo. Mm -hmm. and did you write the Brown Sugar song? I, I didn't write that particular song. I wrote Jones in My Bones. I produced uh, the Cruising mm -hmm. cut. A now, lot when you say of, producing, what does producing mean? Yeah, the producing can mean a lot of things. I mean, creating and producing is two different things. I think D'Angelo created the song. What I did was help bring the song into fruition. He couldn't get the first line of the song done. Mm -hmm. And I had to go in and actually produce that mm -hmm. first, uh, just the entrance to the song. So when you say produce, you know, produ producers wear a lot of different hats. I think people get confused uh, because creating uh, something doesn't necessarily mean you produce something. Mm -hmm. It means you created it. Uh, the person that's able to bring the best out of the creation is the producer. Yeah, you know these new uh, the new kids out here think producing mean you. Andy Stone was by making the beat and all that. No, I didn't make the beats, but when I did uh, Voodoo, I did five songs on the album. I crafted uh, some of the direction. I didn't get to finish the stuff because of you know situations that were beyond my control. But I'm the kind of person that I'm very on hands on with what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a perfectionist. Word, word. Mm -hmm. And your show is perfect. Oh, thank perfect, you. That's man. so sweet. Yeah, I, you. I had a little young girl with me. That's right. No yeah, and that. man, when I tell you she had a yabba dabba do time. Really? And she looked up all your stuff, bought all your albums on iTunes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, she you got to get the new one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't oh, nothing wrong with 25. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought, I thought you were talking about get a new girl. No, the new... <laughs> <laughs> The new CD is entitled I got it. Dream. You, you got it. it. Yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah, I love it. I bet you I can tell you your favorite song. Tell me what my favorite song Begin is. Begin again. Well, am I right? Am I wrong? Two bad habits? <laughs> I must no, have no, 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 no. That, that's, that's my favorite song. Begin again. Yes. I, I can't believe you just took that right out of my head. Well, how do you think I know that? 
Because it's your favorite song? No, it's not my favorite. It was my least favorite song. It's your least favorite song. It Everyone was. Your least... It was my okay. least favorite song. The reason I know that song was your favorite because men love that song. Right off gate, men just fall victim to it. Bam! I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. It's hard. It's got a hard thing with it. I'm hard. You know when you hear that something about you just dig deep, mm. core. Mm. You feel me? Yes, I definitely feel you, man. And um, like when you was when you was like crafting this whole album, what, mm -hmm. what, what frame of mind are you in? Are you are you happy? Are Can you I keep it 100 with you? Yeah, yeah. No, for real, for real. I, I don't want you to talk doing. about me now. Yeah, I won't do that. I want to talk with you. Can I talk with okay, you? Okay, I'm at the place. I'm going to tell you where I was when I did this album. I was in a dark place. Okay. I didn't want to do music anymore. I thought the industry had spit me up, threw me out. I feel like I was too old. They weren't going to support me. We the only genre of people that cut our own legs off before we've gotten to our height. You know, uh, uh, Kenny Rogers, them can sing to they, they out there in the snow hair, snow white, all of that. They're not bothering each other. They're just getting checked. We as black people put a cap on our own success. And I feel like God has kept me pretty well in, in over the years and coming from hip hop to hooray has not been easy. So I was at a really dark place. I was broke, disgusted, frustrated, tired, aggravated, all of the above. And then Walter Millsap, who is the brainchild behind Minus Behavior, called me up and said, God put a dream on my heart and told me to call you and help you. Mm. I didn't have any, out of the blue. I still didn't have no energy. I said, Mom, it's too short to box with God. I was literally limp. And he went in, he said, give me a minute. And he went in and he started working. And I knocked out two songs a night. And before you know it, a new sound was coming out of Andrew Stone. The rebirth mm. of Andrew Stone started to take place. And it taught me not to really question God anymore about you know, where I was in my life because it's at that time that he can do the most with you because now you've stopped trying to do it all mm. because you've done the very best you can mm. and you let him in and he navigates. Now, Angie, now that you're finished writing, let me show you how it should be done. Wow. And within one week, the single went jump all the way to top 20, one week. Now we top 10, album coming in, I'm, I'm predicting top five. And I'm sitting here talking with you. Yeah, now, Angela, let me, let me ask See, you. See, that's something. I'm here with you. I'm here with, you ain't on. understanding what I'm saying. I, I understand I'm with here you. with you. But you supposed to be here with me, though. I was supposed I, to I be in there. there. I was supposed to be in with you. Yeah, be I said that like back in Grits and Grave. I was supposed to be in y'all. Yes. First hip hop. <laughs> See what I'm saying? No. But uh, just to be here with you mm. right now is to tell me that I'm in a place I've never been before. Mm. God is doing something new. Where, where, where? You feel I me? never stopped believing in you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I heard you say something, and um, it reminded me of what Snoop Dogg said. He said that he went broke three times, and I, and that he, you say that you went broke for. I went broke. I've been broke. I've been, listen, without putting all my business in the street, when I say broke, spirit broke, financially broke, heart broke. I had every broke you can possibly think of at the same time. Mm. The devil was trying to kill me. Mm. But God said not so. Mm. You feel me? Right, 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 right. That's why I'm here with you. Now, see, I'm here with you. Right, right. I can dig that. See, this is power to me. All oh, this is power. For me to be sitting in front of this banner means that God is doing something new in my life. And I'm here with you. You, you seem, you know, I love your energy <laughs> right now. Thank you. You seem like you're in a much more happier place. Even the last time I seen you on, on stage, it, it was amazing. You had a sold out show and whatnot. But I, what, what, what puzzles me, is couldn't you have done that yourself? What? Have put slow lot shows and run your own career? No, I was doing deal. that myself. Mm. I never record did the last time you saw me. I had an agent, but no record deal. Get out of here. Yeah, I just got my record deal. Uh, Shiny Key is an independent label because a lot of the majors were still, you know, frugal. Mm. Uh, I had done Stacks. Stacks was trying to relaunch their label. I came in at number one. Mm. Uh, left Clive Davis, went and did that, went to another indie label, and I stopped finding myself in these indie corners. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm swimming. I feel like I'm drowning here. Mm. And I, you know, when 
they start to second guess you when you've put down a legacy of 37 years in the game and all my stuff has been tight. Mm -hmm. You start wondering what's really going on. And that's when I told you I was at that dark place. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what, uh-uh, I ain't finna do this. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't gonna sell my soul. I wasn't gonna do none of that for success. And I'm just, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Either way you have it. So I was working from show to show, check to check, meal to meal, coat to coat, sock to sock. Had to had rent bill to rent bill. That's what it was. Wow, that that blows my mind. Cause when all those people are inside that building, you like, whoa, they got forty five. For me, they got forty five months, and there's over fifteen hundred folks in here. Like, how you can take that what, happen? You take what you can get because they make you feel worthless. They make uh, they make you feel like, look, we're doing you a favor. Right. And at the time when you got your bills are like, you know, one of my. Um, Lyrics in Too Bad Habit, it says, say, collectors acting funny, more month than the money. Wow. I'm watching what I spend, so what's that in the window? Take a little of my savings, move it over, checking. Because the way my account is set up, I hope that it clears. You're still rapping. <laughs> <laughs> and just don't got bars. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right off the top of the dome. I'm good. Right? Yeah, I see you, man. <laughs> Yo, you, you're a poet and you, you everything. You are everyone. I try to be. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a survivor. Mm. I'm mm. a survivor. Who is Andy Stone? 